Let's run run to the next uh, topic. So uh, let's talk about the the principal who uh, was who was suspended today, suspended with pay, but they're trying to consider uh, suspending him uh, without pay. And it has all of the indications that this is a political hit because this um, and I, I have a hard time with his last name, but he opposed Rahm Emanuel and supported Bernie Sanders. And all of a sudden he's out the door. What did you think about that story and pronounce his last name for me? Well, from, <laughs> to, from friends in Chicago who from, I, I'm, I'm see you gonna set me up now. Troy oh, no. <laughs> Lavieri. I'm in Troy, if you're I'm watching, not. you know what I'm saying? I apologize. Um, Again, it's been a sad day, so I've had a little wine tonight, so I do apologize I'm, for my mispronunciations ahead you know, of time. Let me, let me try it. Uh, La Riviere, you think? La Riviere, possibly. Um, I should know this. But what, what, what what's interesting is the fact that CPS, Chicago Public Schools, is actually on spring break right now. So right. parents are getting this information in the midst of spring break. You know, this is happening in the midst of spring break. Um, and and I, I I don't think he he was necessarily shocked that it happened because he has been a very vocal, not only a vocal supporter of you know Bernie Sanders and and I don't know if you guys if you guys didn't see I mean we we shared them before the three spots the three commercial spots Bernie Sanders released before the Chicago primary mm -hmm. you know Principal Tony was in one of them yeah um and talked eloquently about uh, his opposition to Rahm Emanuel and what's been going on in Chicago but he was a big proponent of. Um, Ron Emanuel's most recent opponent, uh, oh, Chewy Garcia. Yeah. Right. Um, but not just that, he has spoken out. So what 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 this case, this case, um, not this case, but this incident, right, supposedly turns upon he's had they claim that he's had acts of misconduct, right, right including a violation of a previous warning resolution. The warning resolution arose out of his support for um his pta and dealing with you know testing issues he has i mean this guy is awesome right if you were a parent and your kids were are in elementary if you're an elementary school age parent right this is the type of principal you want for your school right he is a hundred percent about the kids he's about the community he's about the parents he's, he's about his teachers like they and this is this is as Bernie San Bernie Sanders released a statement today about this, right? Because okay. you know, unlike other people, he's not leaving his folks out to to hang out to dry, and people are literally putting their jobs, their livelihood, their careers on the yeah. line. You know, this gets back to our conversation about real Democrats and who's destroying the party, right? Like this man walked out on faith, walked out on principle, walked out on his beliefs, and supported not only you know Chewy Garcia for mayor, but now Bernie Sanders for president. Yeah. and against the chicago machine and this is what happens and his supposed act of misconduct was an act of support for his ptsa his pta and his parents yeah so like this is ridiculous right and and someone there's a question about how how easy are principles to get rid of um chicago uh from what i've been reading is pretty wild in the board of education because personnel matters with principles and stuff are kind of sensitive I guess they technically can try to do this. Um, we'll see what the blowback is going to be. You know, Chicago just got rid of a crooked uh, state's attorney. So we'll see what they do about um, them trying to get rid of not just a beloved principal, but a principal that has actually received awards and citations of, of honor or what I forget the actual term is from the mayor's office, as well as improving test scores and stuff in his district. Like he's been doing what he's supposed to do on paper. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. It's, petty. Uh, it's and it has like it has all of the political overtone overtones of a political hit job, right? Yes. It's a it, it he he was one of the most outspoken people against Rahm Emanuel. Um, and he did what was necessary for his schools. Uh, I want to read the statement. It wasn't a long statement, but I want to read the statement from Bernie Sanders mm -hmm. regarding um, uh, Principal La, La Riviere. Um, and he sent this from he was in Pennsylvania when he sent it. He said uh, Bernie Sanders uh, on today released the following statement. He said um, it is absolutely unacceptable that a prince, a school principal is facing politically motivated retaliation because he dared to stand up to the mayor of Chicago. 
Principal La Riviere, um, who won three straight Principal Merit Awards handed out by the mayor, is getting results for the students at Blaine Ele Elementary. The only ex explanation for his removal appears to be the Mayor Emanuel's unhealthy obsession with taking revenge. If we're going to build on an economy that works for all, we cannot sit back and watch as workers face retaliations from bosses. I condemn Principal La Riviere's reassignment and call upon Democrats around the country to stand up against Mayor uh, Emanuel's pettiness. That damn Bernie Sanders. And he has not backed down. Not pull any punches with since that. Since he was first warned in August. Yes. Like, you know, he has not backed down since he was first warned in August because he has said that you know, what is happening in Chicago, and this is happening in many districts across the country, but Chicago is such an egregious example, right? So yeah. like when Bernie was, was drawing the connection between Rahm Emanuel and Hillary Clinton, it wasn't just, so there's a question about where was he reassigned to? So supposedly he was reassigned, but really he was just sent home without pay. He has not actually been reassigned. Well, he um, was, actually, I want to correct, he, he does have pay, they are just looking to see if they can suspend him without pay. So right. He, like, he, so he was. So they were saying, but but formally they've said that they've reassigned him from mm -hmm. the school. He hasn't been reassigned any place. Like like Ben was saying, he's basically been sent home. Right. Um. But 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 one thing he said in a most recent blog post because he writes, he blogs yeah. about this stuff. You know, he's very active with his teachers, like I was saying, and his community. He said, "Our teachers have been battered by this administration's attacks and forced to live with the blatant hypocrisy behind the calls for teacher financial sacrifices while the district continues to engage in wasteful spending, reckless borrowing, and their steadfast commitment to steering CPS dollars to banks and investors that profit from our school's losses. So when everyone's out there talking about some Bernie Sanders is talking about things that don't matter for our communities, this is the exact connection of what is happening in places like Chicago, because it's not just a Chicago issue. When you have school districts that are gambling away with, with district money, and risky financial deals. When you have school districts that are trying to prior to, to privatize and subdue the efforts of teachers, this is a problem. This is a problem. It's directly tied to things like campaign finance reform, to Wall Street regul regulation. Like these are issues that are affecting our actual children. And they are a part of that bigger picture. When everyone tries to say, oh, Bernie Sanders doesn't know what he's talking about. People like, you know, Principal Tony, I mean, they're living it. Right. They're living every day the, yeah. the the downside of people engaging in these risky behaviors and cronyism. I mean, it's just this was insane to me. Today.